My name is Karen Richardson. I'm Dean of Admission here at Princeton University and a proud member of the class of 1993. I'm also first generation to college. And while I was lucky enough to have a brother who attended here before me, when I arrived here on campus as a first year student, it was still pretty scary. I grew up in a small town here in New Jersey and went to a very tiny public high school. And I knew that Princeton would really stretch me both academically and socially. What I found here though was support and mentorship and lifelong friendships. So today I'd like to take you on a little tour of some of the places and talk about some of the things that were really meaningful to me as an undergraduate. So here we are at Morrison Hall where it all begins. This is the home of the admission office. When I arrived here on campus over 30 years ago, the admission officer who read my application actually greeted me by name and also knew the high school that I had attended. I was a financial aid student here on campus and so I had to have a work study job. And my job was actually here in the admission office where I traveled locally with some of the officers to talk to students about my campus experience. We're lucky enough to have a campus visit ambassador program where students do some of the same things for us and really talking to prospective applicants about their experiences here on campus. Who knew that 30 years later I'd be here making this video for you? You've been admitted, so we already believe that you can thrive here. That said, everybody needs a little support every once in a while. The residential college system is great for that because it gives you the chance to get to know a smaller group of people a little bit better. I lived here in Butler College and I formed some of my strongest friendships here through the dining hall and living in the dorms. You also have a professional staff of faculty and staff members who are working with students to ensure that everyone is succeeding both academically and socially. Academics was probably the biggest adjustment for me when I arrived here on campus. Having attended a, a very small school, I was asked to read more and write more here in college than I ever had been in high school. When you arrive here on campus, you'll be assigned an academic advisor who will get to know you and also help you to think through the classes that make the most sense for you. When you declare an area of concentration, you'll find an advisor within that area. And then senior year, when you go to write your senior thesis, that's the piece that I found the most mysterious, honestly. I was lucky enough to find a senior thesis advisor who really was amazing and helped me to think through the research aspect. While it was a little intimidating to be working with an expert in constitutional law who had been here for years teaching the same types of courses, I would come here every week to the politics department to meet with him and he really was able to guide me through this culmination of the Princeton experience. In the end, it's the people that make the place. I met people through my classes, through my dorms, through my activities, and I have a group of lifelong friends that even 30 years later, we still find ways to connect. I'm thrilled to be back at this place that's formed so many of my opinions and how I view the world, and that has opened so many opportunities for me in my career as well. While I recognize it's not always easy to get to know a college campus if you haven't had a chance to visit, hopefully through the virtual experiences that we have provided, you'll get to see what a special place that Princeton is. Congratulations, we can't wait to meet you soon.